This is Eternal Blade, welcome to part 38 of the bath tutorial. And we were busy figuring out how to uh, get these things to work. And I guess I'm just gonna queep out and use target weld. Well, if it works. post it, let others know. And uh yeah, tell me too if you want. Because I thrive on learning. Those very same polygons you had selected before that would be so aptly deselected. And as soon as I finish this damn toilet, I'm done for the night. Thing was well atrocious. Cloned object. Select this border cap. Then select all the polygons, extrude, select the edges, or actually just select top and bottom edge loop, chamfer, and give it a small chamfer, and then give that a mesh smooth, and this is going to be the top part. Make sure it looks decent. And we actually have to cap the bottom here.
this and we'll just insert that a bit. And there we go. Fix that. Go to the top view here. And just push these together. And then select both of them. Rotate 90 degrees. Top view. And just center them up alongside the other part of the toilet and then scale them down in the size of it perspective move them down so in the front view set them right there and then also Let's go to the left hand view here. Just set oops, the object's pivot kind of back here. And then align it to the other one. Just that when we select this, we can rotate and rotate. And it works nicely. Just in case you ever want an open shot to show your nice work inside. Because everyone knows how long we spent. So, let's go back here and our background is mysteriously disappeared, although I'm positive it's still there. Select our whole toilet apparatus, 90 degrees, and scale it down to fit, center it up, and then move it back. Alright, we're going to start with a box. the radius and actually make a bit of a gap between them. Okay, and finally copy one right about here. Increase the height. And what this is doing is making a little hinge thing bob. So select that face and that face. Control click edges chamfer and okay. Give it a mesh smooth. Uh, Alright, let's go back here and select the corner edges. Loop. And then chamfer those a bit as well. And there we go. two iterations so it's happy. We'll select these, just drag them in, and that'll be it for this part. See you in the next one.